at Penn, though? Uh, I grabbed, I grabbed $30. $30? Oh, man. Wow! All right, man. This is hidden camera video of a self-proclaimed fentanyl dealer right outside the United States Federal Building in San Francisco. I'm in the Tenderloin District, a neighborhood known for being a little rough around the edges. This area is, has a lot to be desired. Actually, that's a great way of putting it. It has a lot to be desired. It's wonderful. It is desirable. We should make it amazing. It has amazing potential. It has an amazing history. But something has changed. And let's just say, not for the better. Yeah, man, where we come from, man, you couldn't do this. You couldn't be out here just littering and loitering and throwing on the ground. It's a mess, beyond a mess. It is, it is a cesspool. It's dangerous. It's, um, it's an immoral place. And when I say immoral, it, the way it's being run is immoral. Uh, people are allowed to die. People are allowed to live uh, in misery, suffer, suffer hard. Not just suffer for five minutes or a day, suffer for weeks and months and years. Journalist and community activist Erica Sandberg, a more than 30 year resident of San Francisco is right. I'll see the camera. Camera. It's not uncommon to see people shooting up heroin, rock cocaine, crystal meth, and fentanyl. And yes, smoking fentanyl is a thing. In this car, two people were literally passed out, also in the shadows of the federal building. I flagged down a San Francisco paramedic who checked on their well-being. He woke them up and determined it wasn't an overdose. They were given a free box of Norcan and information on getting help. Overdoses are common out here. I spent a week in the Tenderloin District looking at what's going on with a fresh set of eyes. You see, I left in 2018 to move to Arizona. The Tenderloin District has had its problems even back then. But in 2021, let's just say it's gotten a lot worse. So in this series, we will take a critical eye of the Tenderloin. My observations and possible solutions, if that's even possible. But why, if, if, if it's so bad, then why are people still doing it every day? As another drug dealer makes the transaction behind him. So this is common here. In the ambulance is a guy who was just brought back to life by giving him Norcan. He had OD'd on an opioid, probably fentanyl. And it happens here a lot. This area here is called the shooting gallery. Yeah, it's chaos right now. It is chaos, but, and this is why people ask me all the time, well, why do you stay? Why are you still here, right? Because, number one, I love it. I love San Francisco. And number two, San Francisco's not for lovers. San Francisco is for fighters. It really is. If you enjoy fighting the bad guys, this is the place for you. This is it. You're going to feel so gratified because you know who the bad guys are. We know who they are. They're not wearing masks. They're out in the open. Except in this case, the bad guys appear to be winning. And that is where the problem begins. I have so much more to show you on Gotham by the Bay, so please stay tuned.